I knew she was trouble the first time I saw her. She wore danger like a perfume. It was simply part of her being, and it attracted me like light attracts the moth people. I wanted to be the microphone as she whispers her melodies, or the pillow she rests her feet on while reading some cheap romance. I wanted to be her nightdress, barely touching, barely covering her marble skin. But I was a cop, and a lifetime wouldn't be enough to rid myself of what a woman like her hides under her makeup. Keep your distance, Sonny. Just keep your distance. Yeah, hold, hold your horses, Sonny. Calm down and let's keep this professional. So, hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Chicken Police. So, in, in the last episode we got to talk to Natasha Katsenko and right now we are in her room alone. So, so, we, so we can talk, this, uh, talk things out properly and, and, and ask her more about this case and who could possibly be the one sending her all those threats. So yeah, but before we talk to her, let's look around some more. So this is her room. Very simple. Oh my. You see, I find this anatomy rather weird. Well, actually, well, not the anatomy itself, but but you see, uh, they, so, 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 so these people basically have uh, hu human-like bodies for the most part. They just have animal heads, and in, and in her case, she got a tail as well. And so, so she has fur on her head, but then, uh, but then, but, but then, but then, when, when we go lower to the human portion of her body, it's well, basic human body, no fur, no nothing. And but, she, but she also has a very normal furry uh, cat tail. That just looks very weird to me. But anyway, very sexy picture. Gee, that is a uh, unique picture and kind of daring. I admit, I've never seen anything <laughs> quite like it before. Yes, I admit it's a little daring. I keep it. It evokes good memories. A precious old friend of mine. A most wonderful artist. So he or she painted, painted you like those French girls, huh? He's got an eye, that's for sure, considering his model. Was that supposed to be some kind of compliment? I suppose. I don't know. I don't compliment often. Not on purpose, anyway. Oh, you're funny. Yeah, he can be funny. I admit. I agree. Okay, what, what else? A mirror. I bet you spend a lot of your time staring into the mirror. Do you even recognize yourself? Maybe you were trying to be rude, but, you know, that's a very good question. I was just trying to be rude. <laughs> I was just trying to be rude. Oh, really? Well, then I'm sorry. Don't mention it. <laughs> I, sh I should try and uh, use that sometime. I was trying to be rude. Hmm. What's that, a book or a magazine? The seventh rule of predation. Ah, okay. This kind, of, this kind of reminds me of, you know, Hannibal Lecter. A chicken police story, huh? Okay, and chandelier. You got a beautiful place here, Natasha. A peaceful little island on the ocean of madness with very classy furniture. Ibn likes me surrounded by elegant things, you know? Mm, I bet. You're an elegant thing yourself, sweetheart. Oh, that's charming. Thank you, detective. Okay, anything else here? I guess not. Well, we can leave, but we're not gonna do that, obviously. So... This woman's aware of her charm. And she knows how to use it. A rare and dangerous combination. Okay, so let's talk to her. How do you like your bourbon, Mr. Featherland? In a glass. <laughs> but thanks, I had a couple before I came. I feel like this may be a long night. I 
I hope it doesn't bother you if I have one myself. No, of course not. I get offended if women don't drink in my company. <laughs> okay. Oh, you are a funny guy. Hmm, yes, very. They were not kidding when they said that this game has its own unique sense of humor. I can't really put my I I I don't I don't really know how to describe it. Dry? Dry a sense of humor? So I've been told. Anyway, uh, lovely room. Yes. Look, Mr. Featherland. It's sunny. Saves us a lot of time. Okay, sunny. So, why am I here? You know, men tend to babble in my presence. It must be exhausting. It is. But you're not the type to beat around the bush. Is it too banal if I tell you it's an occupational hazard? Terribly. So can I start the unpleasant questions? I've asked you here so you can do what you do best. Really? I thought you asked because you wanted me to investigate for you. But if you'd rather be drinking... <laughs> oh, you do have a sense of humor. How reassuring. Only if I'm a bit hungover. That's usually quite common. Oh, please drop the act about being the alcoholic, heartbroken ex-cop son. Well, he kinda is. It would undoubtedly suit you, but um, I've seen you scanning my room. From the second you set foot in here, you started working, and everything I say gets sorted in your brain. Am I right? Yeah, I, I think so, too. That's a bit of an exaggeration, but yeah, it's something like that. Well then, Sonny, come at me. Oh, that sounded so... suggestive and naughty. Oh, that's something I don't hear often. <laughs> My best pleasure. Okay, personal info. New function, questioning, okay, uh, people. She is here, okay. Personal infos. She is the employer of Miss Deborah Ibanez. Allegedly, she is, re she is receiving serious threats. Yeah, we knew, knew that already. Currently the girlfriend of the notorious gangster, Ibn Wesler. This explains a lot of things, mainly the excess excessive secrecy. Okay, we knew that already as well. She owns the Tsar Club. She was the singing sensation of the millions and later became the owner, under uh, Ibn's patronage. Not much is known of her past before this, though. Okay. Natasha is a mysterious woman in indeed and seems dangerous too, but she is undoubtedly in serious trouble. The question is, is she the source of the problem or is it someone else? Okay. She was the... Oh yeah, I read this already. Yeah. Okay, well, let's start the questioning then, I suppose. Natasha is a confident woman. I can exploit that, but I must be careful. Every part of her oozes danger. So we must try and try and try and, and exploit the fact that she is a confident woman somehow. Okay. All right. So Natasha is a confident woman. Oh yeah, see, he said that already. That was a that was a remarkable performance. Yes, I must agree. Damn those emerald green eyes. They just suck you in. That was a remarkable performance. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Do you perform here frequently? You're also the owner, if I'm not mistaken. Sadly, I don't have the time. But the stage still calls my name. And I perform just a few times a year. And always with a new song. Only a few times a year. Well, damn, we were very, very lucky to come to come here. That when when she was performing. So that was all the excitement. I have many admirers, if that's what you mean. Yes. Okay, the place is very elegant, and uh, so is your room. Mm, the picture on the wall is quite daring. We kind of we kind of went went over this already. But if we want to. Hmm. I, 
I, I guess we should go with this if we want to take advantage of her confidence or something like that. The picture on the wall is quite daring. Only if you knew how old I was at the time. Do I want to know? I think I'm on a slippery slope here. Come on, don't be shy. Ask me. All right. How old were you? <laughs> did you really believe I'd tell you? Well, for a second there, yes, I did. You're quite a player, aren't you? Life is anything but a game, detective. Well, you tell me. Okay, that was a good option. I take it. Well, actually, no. I don't know how to read this uh, detective meter here at all. Oh, wait. It says... Oh, I didn't notice this and this before. So... So this white... The white part, or the white half, uh, represents her confidence and the black one, her mysteriousness. I think... I don't know. I still... I still... I still don't quite understand how this works. What can you tell me about Ibn Wessler? Do you think one of your admirers might be behind the threats? Well, yeah, let's let's. I, I, I think that I think that, that that this is the most logical question. Do you think one of your Follow -up admirers question? might be behind the threats? Those who admire me usually idolize me. No, I don't think it's one of them. You know. The soul of an animal is extremely complicated. Sometimes all it takes is a bad look or some small rejection to turn admiration into hate. That's a stillborn theory. No one hates me if they once loved me, Mr. Detective. Mm, you are very confident on that. Ah, I see. Yep. And she's cold too. Okay. This whole case stinks. What are you trying to make me do? Do you have any material evidence concerning the threats? Why Deborah? She's a nice girl, but why didn't you come to me? Well, hmm. That should, that should be quite obvious, I think. So, do you have any material evidence concerning the threats? Do you have any material evidence concerning the threats? You may think I'm irresponsible, but I didn't keep any of it. I simply couldn't bear to look at them. Hmm. Kinda understandable, but at the, but at the same time, did she get rid of them, uh, you know, on a, on a purpose? I mean, it doesn't it doesn't make much sense when when you think about it, but uh, I I don't know. Didn't you think maybe the police would need it? Yeah. I didn't think I needed the police. Moreover, do you think the girlfriend of Ibn Wessler could ever turn to the cops? Most likely no. I see. So, what about me? How do I come into the picture? It sounds ridiculous, but you're my last hope. What? Uh, what? Is, is, is Ibn... Uh, Terrible at investigating things. That does sound ridiculous, but I accept my ego and uh, old habit. You can't do anything else, can you? Yeah, most likely not. Something like that. A leopard can't change its spots. Deep behind the diamond skin lies the truth. It doesn't matter how hard Natasha's trying to hide it. She's scared. Okay. Now I must concentrate to finally find out what I want to know. Okay, so she actually is legit scared. She's just, she's just very good at hiding it. Okay, so now we got scared here. What was in those threats exactly? The message itself is not a threat. It's just a word. Okay. But a word again and again is threatening. Exactly. So? So what is the word? You really don't have any idea? Which word could be used for a woman like me? Hmm, I don't know. Die? 
Ugly. Bitch. I guess I do. Yes. I think I know what it could be. Poor. Oh, that. Yeah. That works too. <clears throat> Cat got your tongue? Am <laughs> I right? You heard it. I said what you were thinking. And yes, that was in the message. That was printed on the paper and painted on my wall in giant red letters. Cat got your tongue. You actually went there. You actually freaking went there. Well, of course they went there. Why wouldn't they? Well, thank you for your honesty. Hmm, <laughs> damn. This bar is almost entirely white soon. I suggest you lie low. Could the threats have anything to do with the dangerous relationship between you? No one's ever seen the culprit, not even a shadow. What about Fillmore? Is he here because of you? Fillmore, who was Fillmore again? Can I check? No, no, I can't. I can't check. I can't check my notes. I don't remember who Fillmore is. Oh yeah, I think Fillmore is the is the ex colleague of of Sunny, whom Sunny worked with back in their own country of something. I I I forgot the country's name. It was a bird country. Well, let's not ask about let's not ask ask about him. Hmm. Could the threats have anything to do with the dangerous relationship between you? Uh, between her and uh, Ibn. Could the threats have anything to do with the dangerous relationship between you? You mean I'm a cat and he's a rat? Mm -hmm. Cats usually tend to eat mice and rats, no? Every interracial relationship has risk. But yes, this one's more conspicuous than most. Clawville's a very open and free city. But I guess you see more radical transgressions than I do. One of the most common causes in homicidal and predatory cases, ma'am. So, yes. Well, I don't know about that. Nobody ever questioned our relationship openly. We are what we are. And you know, if you're interested in my personal feelings, Danger fills our relationship with a flavor no other can replace. Mm -hmm. It must be one interesting relationship, that's for sure. I'm not sure I can feel the same, but I can certainly understand it. Yeah, I can imagine that Ibn doesn't want doesn't want to piss off his girlfriend girlfriend because if she gets too ang angry, she just might eat him or something like that. Maybe one day you'll experience it, Sonny. Have you ever been with a predator before? I don't think he has, no. He used to be married, though, to a parrot. Well... Well... That's unsteady ground, Natasha. Let's turn the questioning around, if you don't mind. <laughs> As you wish, Sonny. Hmm, is he hiding something? Okay, how many fools like me have you... Have you used up Natasha? That sounds a bit rude. How many fools like me have you used up, Natasha? In all my life? Well... I just forget it. I don't want to know. Curiosity killed the cat. <laughs> no pun intended. It was... It was most definitely in intended, Sonny. I know you. <laughs> I'm just joking. You're not a fool, Sonny. I know that was supposed to be a kind of insult, but it usually rolls right off me. I can't take cock-a-doodling, so you can put aside the strutting stuff while you're talking to me. Or talking with me. Fair point. Broadcast received, ma'am. Natasha is a mysterious woman, but I must gouge out at least one of her secrets. Enough games. It's time to know why I'm here. Okay, so no more beating around the bush, no more bullshit, let's just go straight to the point. Yeah, let's stop beating around the bush, indeed. Hmm? It's back to... It's back to normal, the detective meter here. Okay. Let's stop beating about the bush. How do you know Molly? 
I'm prepared for that question, but it's still not easy. You knew very well that if you threw in the name of my wife, I'd come to you no matter how vague and suspicious the case was. I just want to know if you're simply a manipulator or you're really that desperate. Oh yeah. Yeah, she did me she did mention his wife in her note. I really know her. I'm not lying. You better not be. Oh really? How? Were you a nurse too? Forgive me, but I don't think so. Don't be rude and so cynical, Sonny. Well, that, well, that's what most detectives are like, are they not? Cynical and rude. I'm sorry, but that's me when feline claws are at my throat. Molly is an old and good friend of mine. She has nothing to do with this, but I knew that if I didn't mention it to you, you wouldn't have come. Yeah, Natasha, you're right there. I knew you were a decent fowl, that you would help me. That's what you're famous for. Don't go there. Flattery doesn't work. Look, forgive me. I shouldn't have brought your wife into this. But she is not in danger at the very least. Or, or, in, any, or in any way part of this uh, case. That's good, I suppose. You're right, you shouldn't have. But to be honest, I don't think she's my wife anymore. On paper she is, but I haven't seen her in years. I'm sorry, I didn't know. Somehow I don't believe you on that. Really? <sighs> I, I did. I knew it. I knew I checked you out before I sent Deborah. Of course you did. Luck me. This case is getting more and more intriguing. Okay, you played me from the start, didn't you? What exactly do you want from me? Yeah, let us go straight to the point in that. What exactly do you want from me? You are really as good as they say you are. And I'm not selling lucky dips, Sonny. Find them, whoever they are, and... And arrest them. Whatever it takes. Not exactly, but something like that. Okay. You know, if I didn't see the speck of fear behind the confidence shining in your eyes, I wouldn't take the case. I'm not afraid. You're terrified, Natasha. Don't be ashamed. You must solve this. As soon as you can. Money's not an issue. Oh, yeah. I don't... I didn't think that. I have no doubt. Okay, how did we do? Hmm? Only three? This, this is our weakest score so far. Questions asked, nine. Focus accuracy, 40%. Okay, yeah, I have no idea how this how this system works at all. I, th I thought we did pretty well. I thought we... I, I thought we... I thought we were doing very well, actually, but apparently not. Okay, so Natasha Katsenko, final thoughts. Not bad, but not good either. It's okay for a rookie, but you can do better. Next time, pull yourself together and pay attention to the signs. Focus, Sonny. Important clue, the threat, or rather the threatening word in the me messages sent to Natasha is simply whore. It's brief, but says a lot, regardless. Rusted copper. Okay. We could retry, I suppose, but yeah, let's not do that. Just one more thing, Sonny. Okay, what's that? Natasha. Please, come to 37 Rochester Street in Flower Town tonight. I'd like to show you something that could be of a great help in your investigation. Oh, really? I was afraid this was coming. Why there? Why not here and now? It's something I keep hidden there. I won't take the risk of Ibn or one of his men seeing it. Isn't Ibn too dangerous to keep secrets from? Well, he's a rat and she's a cat, so... Sonny, a woman is naked without her secrets. Hmm. I knew you would understand. Oh, yeah. 
understand everything. So, when do we meet? The night is almost over. I'll be there in an hour. Don't be early and don't be too late. Okay, she wants us to be... She wants us to be punctual. Look, Natasha, you know... Please, this is very important to me. Sure, I get it. I'll be there. Thank you. Mm, new item. Until later, Natasha. Goodbye, Sonny. And, uh, new clue, but wait. What do we have here? Natasha is afraid, and her fear is genuine, she, uh, but she isn't telling me everything regardless, and I don't like it. Anything... what do we have here? Natasha has invited me to her weekend house to show me something. In other situation, I would be glad about it, but in this case, I'm worried. Oh, so we got the key to her apartment, maybe? The threat, or rather the threatening word in the mes messages sent to Natasha is simply whore. It's brief, but says a lot regardless. Okay. And people... Oh, and before we leave, we should also go and talk to... Yeah, it was Filmar. This was Filmar. Filmar Low. We, we should talk to him before we go. Okay, uh... People, anything new here? Yeah, okay, nothing, nothing new here. Okay, fine. And... Yeah, we got... Yeah, we got the key. Hmm. Hmm. That's all you have to say. Okay. Well, I guess we'll be leaving then. See you soon, Natasha. Well? Weren't you supposed to be waiting in the car? I was bored to tears, Sonny. I also thought maybe something happened to you. You thought Natasha had eaten me alive, huh? Well, who knows? You're such a fragile little thing. <laughs> I'm too old for this, Marty. Then next time, leave the dangerous predators to me. I didn't mean that, Marty. I meant you. Oh. <laughs> oh look at him. He looks so depressed. It's kind of, it's kind of funny, the way how he looks. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, but before we leave, uh, Philmore, are you still here? Ah, oh, there you are, buddy. So, have you talked to Natasha? Yep. In fact, yes. She was, uh, kind of mysterious. I bet she was. You know, I've never abandoned a case before. Not voluntarily, anyway. But that woman... You're, uh, too old for this shit, huh? <laughs> As you say, pal. That's exactly how I felt, too. Before you leave, take this. And examine it closely. Okay, what is it? What is it? The reason I've decided all of this is not worth it for me. Okay. Wow, that sounds encouraging. Take care of yourselves, guys. This case, maybe it goes deeper than you'd think. Oh, I bet it goes. Oh, that makes my feathers stand on end. Ah, old croakers. You're safe while I'm here. Yeah, you with your big Bertha. Okay, okay, I didn't say anything. <laughs> New function, ask. Okay, well, might as well. Might as well, a I might as well ask about all of these, but let's start with Katsenko. Wonderful girl. Either I'm gonna kill her or I'm beginning to like her. That's funny, I swear I've heard that before. Huh, to be honest, me too. Okay. The truth is, Ibn's a dirty bastard. But he's likable. It must be his charisma that snared Natasha. And and maybe his fat wallet too. Maybe there's more to it than simple wild love. Most likely, yeah. Hmm, who knows? Animals commit the dirtiest of deeds for wild love. Hmm. You've got a point. Uh, the, um, Olivia Black Blackwick. Oh yeah, that it's the crow or uh, raven that was with uh, Ibn. Who 
is this woman anyway? She's like Ibn Shadow. Nobody knows anything about her. Okay, so she's pretty so so she's pretty unknown to most, if not everyone else, but Ibn. I don't know if she has anything to do with the case, but it's worth keeping an eye on her anyway. More women, more trouble. Hmm. Maybe she, maybe she became jealous of uh, Natasha's and Ibn's relationship, and is sending the threats to Natasha. That's also possible. You already fantasizing. <sighs> Even the sight of young women make me tired. Anyway, most people say she's the rat's lover too, but next to Natasha, I doubt he'd want her. Anyway. Pussycat would have already torn her to shreds. Yeah, most likely. Could be. And lastly, the weekend house. So, Natasha invited us to her weekend house. Well, she invited you more specifically, but maybe Marty can take along. That's either very good news or very bad news. 50%. That's not that bad, is it? That's an admirable attitude. Attitude, yeah, he's got that. Most of the time, I think that's all he's got. Don't forget Big Bertha. Hey! <laughs> okay, we are done with all of this. Okay, so... What did we get? We stepped into it, didn't we? So, wait, what is that? Bunch of... Uh, names and... Phone numbers? I think. We stepped into it, didn't we? Okay, so no other comment regarding this note, okay? Of all that's furry, hmm? what kind of a list is this? Okay, so he's going to ask about it. Exactly. I have no idea, but I don't even want to find out. Let's hope that it's not a hit list. Those names, all top dogs. Maybe they play cards together. Sure, that's very likely. Anyway, I pried this list out of a dead man's hand. Somebody dropped him outside the forest, a few miles from the Wessler residence. Okay. I should have known she was keeping secrets. Well, well, she did say that she feels naked without secrets. Of course, of course a woman like her will have lots of secrets. Keeping secrets? She's the secret herself. Well, yeah, pretty much nobody knows about her uh, past. Thanks, Filmar. This could be important. Uh, don't thank me. Maybe I've just signed your death warrant. Oh, thank you, sir. <laughs> oh, shut up, Marty. Okay, new location. Anyway, what news? What news here? I only recognized a few names on the list. Filmar shoved it into my hand. But all of them belong to the respected elite of Clawville. It could be a wedding roster, but I doubt that's the case. Yeah, I don't think so either. Anything new here? Fillmore? It seems Fillmore also used to work for Natasha, but he got out of the case before the ground got too hot. Anyway, he kept a piece of evidence, as any good uh, PI would do, which could be very useful to us. So he used to work for her even. Okay, no wonder she got desperate. Um, places. The weekend house. Natasha's weekend house. It stands in the cleanest and most separated quarter of the city. In Flowerville. I'm curious about what she's hiding there. Okay, but is there any, any other locations where we can go to? So there's the weekend house. Anything, anything new? Updog. Glowville Police Department. Okay. Well, let's go to the weekend house then. Well, if there's one thing I'd learned during 20 years of detective work, it's that if someone wants to meet you at a remote location at night, you should bring an army for backup. One time, me and Marty were stupid enough to underestimate a situation like that, and we never really recovered. And yet, here we were again about to step alone into something hauntingly familiar. Only one tactic remained, as the old dogs say. Balls to the wall. Uh, 
Ugh, this place gives me the creeps. Wait, there's some. Oh, they 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 must have they must have written the word on the on on the walls of her apartment too. Whore. That's rude. I wouldn't say I like it either. Let's take a look around before we go inside. Textbook. I'm telling you, it's a trap. Yeah, it could be. But then again, why would she want to trap us? Shut up, Marty. Shut up, Marty. <laughs> yeah, it says whore. So, this is the word. What can I say? The message is loud and clear. Yeah, what matters is who is it for and what does it mean? I can't misunderstand that if I wanted to. We'll see. Wait we'll a second, did that bimbo put a spell on you? As you used to say, don't let it cloud your objective judgment, boss bird. Watch who you're talking to, boy. <laughs> okay, and hmm, there's a shoe there. A yellow or even golden shoe. Okay. Fancy looking place. But I'm gonna end this episode here actually. And in, and in the next episode, well look let's let's look around some more, pick up the shoe, and then enter in and see what Natasha has to show for us. So, until next time. Thank you for watching once again, and see you next time for more Chicken Police.